Well, it is said that the third time's charm. This is the third time I've tried to find this place, and guess what? I was successful. I found Hungry Horse Dam, where you can walk across it or drive across it. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, my goodness, Mindy, Glenn. I'm glad you harassed me. <laughs> Made me come here again. <laughs> Wow, now I gotta go get a little closer and see, make some video content for YouTube. <laughs> okay, here we go. The biker's coming back. I don't think there's an outlet to a town for this road. It just uh, goes along by the lake or circles the lake or something like that. I gotta stop here. Check it out. Get a better view. Check it out. Uh, let's see what the view is from up here. Wow, that is a big dam. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's holding back lots of water. Generating lots of power for the good people of Montana and probably other states too. I wonder what that vent's for. I don't know, that sure looks like a vent to me. And that looks like a, an overflow thing. Water gets too high, it bypasses the dam, so the dam don't overflow. Looks like a lot of flotsam down here that's floated downstream. I don't know what that bit is. Looks like they put a some kind of pillar in here. I don't know why. I always have more questions than I have answers. But uh, look at that, that's something else. What is a duck? Let me zoom in on the duck. See the duck swimming in the water. Swimming the Hungry Horse Reservoir. I don't think I'm going to drive across this thing. I no need to. The road doesn't go anyplace. But I think what I will do is just walk here to the center and uh, get some video of the center. I wonder if you can see down there. <laughs> It looks like the center over there. I don't know how that's going to do on uh, selfie mode. <laughs> that there is a long, long ways down. After the energy from the water has turned the generators, it's allowed to proceed on downstream and replenish the river. What's this blooming smoke was in the air? That'd be so beautiful. Hungry Horse. Hungry Horse Dam and Power Plant, 1953. I was a year old when this thing was built. This is an old power plant. Well, I thought I saw people up there. I thought it was for the public, but uh, no, the only door is this. United States property, no trespassing, authorized personnel only. Okay, be that way. I just bet these are the mechanisms that control the flow of water to the generators. Let's see, one, two, three, four of them. So there'll be four gates. I don't know, maybe these rails are <laughs> to move something heavy on, I don't know. I'm winging it here, guys, I'm winging it. <laughs> I'm doing some work up there. I wish they'd let me go up there. There's some loud speakers there, right there on the top. I bet you if there's a problem or impending disaster or something, those things blast out and warn everybody in the area. You imagine what a beautiful scene this would be if there weren't forest fires smoking up the uh, mountains. There's a big storage tank up on the hill. I wonder what 
this for? That's for the water supply for the visitor center. Caution, do not throw objects from the top of the dam. Unlawful to ride or otherwise deface the dam or equipment. Violators will be prosecuted. And you know what? They got CCTV cameras here to just monitor your activity. And there's one right there. Yesterday when I was trying to get here, I followed a sign that said the dam. And then I got right down here and there's a big old gate blocking the road. I was very disappointed. Turned around, then I went to the visitor center, found out big old gate across that road. I gave a little close up of the water pouring out of that thing. Wow, that's a lot of water. I'm telling you what, it's a lot of water. Well, I found out what runs on them rails. It's a crane. That crane runs on them rails over the dam. 125 ton crane. Clearance 18 feet. That's a big guy. That is a big guy. Designed and manufactured by Willamette Iron and Steel Company, Portland, Oregon, United States of America. I'm guessing these things here are what they lift up and move over there. Uh, put it in place. Maybe that's the, the doors to let the water in and out. That's a big motor generator there. Still fascinated by the rock around here. Oh, look at the size of that hoist there. Look at the size of that thing. Wow. That is big. A little look at the tires that ride on those rails. Tires, wheels, <laughs> I don't know what you call them. Railroad tires. A biker game. A biker game meetup on the Hungry Horse Reservoir recreation area. A couple having lunch there, breakfast, just coffee. When it's full, it's 3,560 feet above sea level. Yeah, let's see. Well, it looks like the road does go all the way around the lake. That'd be quite a drive. And I would do it, except it's just so smoky out here, I can't get good video. I live for video. Just a little short clip on the other side of the 125 ton crane. Just wondering if I can see my little maroon car parked over by the visitor center. Be right there by the flagpole. Oh well, maybe I can see it in editing. I'm just pondering the transition of concrete to mountain. That's what I hoped was public observation towers. You know, that's a massive dish over there, microwave probably, it's pointing, oh, okay, let's see, let me zoom out here, it's pointing right to where those mountains meet, going straight down that valley, hmm, interesting, <laughs> I want to tell you, this is quite a hike across here, I'll have to Google and find out exactly how far it is across here because that's where I gotta go. 
and of course that's where I came from a soldier on we can do this okay da, 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 da. hi hi hello 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 don't applaud just so money that's okay bye just an observation here every time there's a crack they've been up here to seal it there's another one I guess they don't want to get water getting down in there because it gets 20 below up here in the winter time that water would expand and crack some more I'm glad to see they're maintaining this cracks and dams are not a good thing at least in my humble opinion it's not a good thing I talked to a worker about those uh, two what I thought were op public observation points and the worker just laughed and said no those are elevator shafts and I went oh duh yeah they'd be elevator shafts because you got to go down that dam somehow other than 5,000 steps elevator is much better there's been a lot of boats across this it's the first time I've seen a pontoon boat crossing. That's my kind of boat. It's real stable. <laughs> you don't get many, much speed out of it, but it's stable. Well, here's the top of that big old air vent or something. I don't know. Another view of the rocks. As I've said a hundred times on this trip. Now, this is what I was looking for by the visitor center. Welcome relief. I asked a lady standing outside. I said, is it safe to go in there? She says, yeah, just don't drop your keys <laughs> or your camera. Okay. Proper food storage. This is bear country. All right, here's the data I was looking for. 564 feet tall. That's what got 2,115 feet wide, 39 feet thick at the top, 330 feet thick at the bottom. Four hundred and twenty-eight thousand kilowatts of electricity. The reservoir itself is 34 miles long. Awesome.